तो हाँ तो बच्चों लास्ट लेक्चर में क्या कर लिया हम लोगों ने हाँ भाई हमने क्या सीखा था हमने लास्ट लेक्चर में सीखा है कि हाउ टू कन्वर्ट वेट वॉल्यूम एंड नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स एंड टू मोल्स हाँ के ना बराबर हाँ ठीक है तो प्रैक्टिस किए क्वेश्चन की नहीं किए तुम लोगों ने यार ये तुम प्रैक्टिस नहीं करते हो यार और फिर तुम कहते नंबर नहीं आ रहे तुम्हारे नंबर कहाँ से आएंगे तुम्हारे जब तुम प्रैक्टिस नहीं करोगे प्रैक्टिस क्या करो कितने लोगों ने डी की हुई है सारे हाथ खड़ा कर देते हो रियल में करते हो कैसे मुझे पागल बनाते रहते हो किया है ना हाँ चलो ठीक है तो आज हम उसी सिलसिले को आगे बढ़ाते हैं तो लास्ट लेक्चर में हमने देखा था कि अगर हमें वेट दिया जाएगा हाउ टू कन्वर्ट दैट इन टू नंबर ऑफ मोल्स एंड इफ दे गिव अस वॉल्यूम वॉल्यूम ऑफ गैस इन लीटर है ना वॉल्यूम ऑफ गैस इन लीटर एट एस तो यू विल हैव डिवाइड दिस बाई ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फोर लीटर है ना एंड यू विल गेट योर नंबर ऑफ मोल्स वेन वेट इज गिवेन यू विल डिवाइड बाई मॉलिकुलर वेट बोलो या फिर एटॉमिक वेट डिपेंडिंग ऑन कि वो एटम है कि मॉलिक्यूल है है ना और आपको अगर नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स देते हैं तो क्या करोगे यू विल डिवाइड बाय अब वो गेट रोज नंबर तो अंदर आने के लिए यू हैव टू डिवाइड एंड टू गो आउटसाइड यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई अच्छा आई ऑल्सो टोल्ड यू वन मोर थिंग दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट नंबर ऑफ एटम्स नंबर ऑफ एटम्स To get number of atoms, what he will do? You will multiply the number of molecules. This hash means number of molecules. Number of molecules into atomicity. Or atomicity, I have told you. What is the atomicity? The atomicity is the number of atoms present in one molecule. We have all practiced. In the last lecture, 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 in the अगर आप प्रैक्टिस नहीं करोगे और खास तौर से अननोन क्वेश्चंस, डू प्रैक्टिस द अननोन क्वेश्चन बच्चों अदरवाइज क्या होगा कि यू विल गेट यूज टू द सॉल्ड क्वेश्चंस ओनली एंड एन एग्जामिनेशन दे विल नॉट गिव यू सॉल्ड क्वेश्चन दे विल गिव यू अनसॉल्ड क्वेश्चन अननोन क्वेश्चन अननोन लैंग्वेज तो अपने को आनी चाहिए बच्चों है ना जितना अच्छे से करोगे उतना फायदा होगा बहुत बार करना पड़ेगा अगर आप लगता है कि सर मैं दो बार कर लू नहीं दो बार नहीं शायद चार बार करना पड़ेगा है ना और तब तक करना जब तक कि परफेक्शन नहीं आ जाता अपने पास में ठीक है ना चलिए आइए अब देखो एक बात सुनो मेरी बात को बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है If I say like I want one mole, one mole, then how much weight I should have, and how much volume of the gas I should have, and how many number of molecules I should have, है ना? I want one mole. I know that if I come from the weight, I should divide by the molecular weight or the atomic weight. Okay, and if I coming from the number of molecules, I have to divide by twenty. Sorry, Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number. And if I am coming from volume, I have to divide by twenty-two point four liter. Yes or no, beta? Chalo, ठीक है. Now tell me, how much weight should I have, है ना, of a chemical, so that I get one mole. Now to get one, I to get one, I know that what is number of moles? By number of moles is what? Weight upon molecular weight or the atomic weight. Yes or no? So if I want this to be one, if I want this to be one, then this means that this means that weight should be equal to molecular weight. Yes or no? So if I have weight equal to weight equal to molecular weight of the substance or atomic weight of the substance, है ना? If I divide the molecular weight by molecular weight, I'll get one. Yes or no? That means if I take how much weight molecular weight of a substance. I'll get one mole. Yes or no? Similarly, if I take twenty-two point four liter of a gas, I'll get one mole. Twenty-two point four divided by twenty-two point four will be equal to one mole. That means, can I say that one mole of a gas is equal to twenty-two point four liter? This is also called molar volume. This is also called molar volume. Yes or no? हाँ क्या ना भाई हाँ ठीक है गुड अच्छा अब बताओ कि हाउ मेनी पार्टिकल्स आई शुड टेक सो दैट आई गेट वन मोल अब वो गेट रोज नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स एन ए डिवाइड बाई एन ए विल बीवल टू वन मोल और आई कैन से दैट वन मोल इज इक्वल टू अब वो गेट नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स ये सुनो हाँ अरे बोलो यार सो रहे हो क्या ये देखो ठीक है सो कैन आई से नाउ सेफली दैट वन मोल इन टर्म्स ऑफ वेट In terms of volume, in terms of number of particles, one mole in terms of weight will be equal to molecular weight if I am talking about molecule, or will be equal to atomic weight if I am talking about atom. Okay, this one mole should be equal to what? It should be equivalent to what? Twenty-two point four liter. Yes or no? And this should be equivalent to what? Avogadro number of particles in terms of particles. Yes or no, boy? That means if I am taking one mole of a substance, how much weight I have taken? I have taken the weight 
equal to what? Molecular weight. If I have taken one mole of a gas, how much volume I have taken? 22.4 liter. If I have taken one mole of a substance, how many particles I have taken? Avogadro number of particles I have taken. Or see, all of them, all these are nothing but one mole of a substance. So now tell me one thing. If I take Avogadro number of particles of a gas at STP, what will be the volume? Since they are all equivalent, the volume of any number of particles of a gas will be equal to what? 22.4 liter. Their weight will be equal to what? Their weight will be equal to what? Molecular weight, which are all equal to what? One mole. They are all nothing but different forms of expressing one mole. This in terms of weight, this in terms of volume, and this in terms of number of particles. Okay. So now tell me, if I take, if I take 22.4 liter of a gas, tell me one thing. Who will tell me? Uh, okay, I'll take this color. Okay. 22.4 liter of a gas. How much weight I have taken? I have taken weight equal to what? It's molecular weight. And how much, how many number of particles I have taken? I have taken Avogadro number of particles. How many moles I have taken? I have taken one mole. Yes or no? Chalo, or batao. If I ask you one more question, uh, tell me, chalo, this thing, help me out. If I take molecular weight of a gas, how much volume I have taken? 22.4. Number of particles and molecular weight of a gas will be equal to num any number of particles. How much, how much mole I have taken? How many moles I have taken? One mole. Is that clear? So one mole is equal to or equivalent to molecular weight of any substance. And if it is a gas, the one mole is also equivalent to what? 22.4 liter and which is also equal to what? Avogadro number of particles. Is that clear? Take it. Chalo, aja, aja, aja. So tell you one thing. If I have to ask you a question that uh, density of a gas, density of a gas is given as 1.43 gram per liter at STP, at STP. And they are going to ask you, they are going to ask you, identify the gas, identify the gas. Right? So I'm giving you option, option number one is O2, second option is say sulfur, third option I'm giving you is hydrazine, N2H4, this is hydrazine and fourth option I'm giving you all, all of them, all of these, right? all of these. Chalo karosko, karosko. Like, before you do, you won't be able to do it as of now, I'll give you a hint. But whenever, whenever they give you this kind of question, density is given and identify the gas remember that blindly always go for 22.4 liter always go for 22.4 liter for a gas the reason being i know that 22.4 liter of a gas is equal to what one mole and one mole of a gas is also equal to what its molecular weight in terms of weight so you will be able to find out the molecular weight if you take 22.4 liter of a gas once you find out molecular weight it will be very easy for you people to identify the gas or not again for example for example the question on finding the molecular weight you get say 28 once you get 28 you can say sir the gas may be n2 chalo if i say you get 44 as the molecular weight the gas may be co2 yes or no if you get molecular weight as say 2 the gas may be h2 yes or no so once you identify the molecular weight it will be very easy for you people to identify the gas so once they give you any information about the gas try to reach 22.4 liter and you will come across that you will be able to find the or identify the gas let's do this question now so density of a gas is given as 1.43 gram per liter what is the meaning of this thing what is the meaning of this thing it means that one liter has a weight of 1.43 grams 1 liter has a weight of 1.43 grams. Now, you should reach where? You should reach 22.4 liter. 22.4 liter of a gas will weigh how much? It will weigh 22.4 into 1.43. Yes or no? These many grams. So, once you will solve, you will get approximately 32. 32 gram. And now, this is what? 32 gram, I believe, is what? Oxygen or sulfur? N2H4 or what? See, this is also 32, this is also 32 and N2 is 28, 28 plus 4, 32, this is also 32. So what is the answer? Come on, all of them. Okay, how many believe that all of them is the right answer? All of them? It's 32 coming, na? 
32 means what? This is the molecular weight or the atomic weight of the gas given. Come on, 22.4 liter means the molecular weight also in terms of weight. Come on. How many believe all of these is the right answer? All of these. Almost all of you. All of you believe all of these is the right answer. Great. Okay. How many believe that only O2 is the right answer? Only O2. No one. Sulfur. No one. So I believe all of you are getting this as the answer. But let me tell you the answer is O2 only. The reason being, first of all, at STP, sulfur is solid. Sulfur is solid. So you have to use the common sense. You have to use the common sense. And hydrazine is an oily liquid. Is an oily liquid. And this, these two are not gas. Gas is only what? This one. So I'm asking you identify the gas. So gas will be only O2. Though this 32 belongs to all of them. Either in the form of atomic weight or the molecular weight. Getting it? So let us do one more question. Let's do one more question. And this is again I am giving you density of a gas is given as 1.94 gram per liter. Okay. And you have to again at STP. At STP you have to identify the gas. And I am giving you options. I am giving you like say we can have N2. Second we can have CO2. We can have third one maybe n2o okay and we can have like say fourth i mean like whatever i mean whatever you want hmm. so chalo solve karo usko solve it 1.94 gram per liter jaldi karo be quick jaldi karo hmm. same step 1 liter has a weight of 1.94 grams so once you get a gas, blindly go to 22.4 liter, 22.4 liter will have a weight of 22.4 into 1.94. This will be coming approximately 44, will be coming 44. And now 44, everyone knows that it is the molecular weight of CO2. But very few people also understand that this is the molecular weight of N2O also. N2 is 28, oxygen is 16. 28 plus 16 is how much? 44 hai na? so both I mean fourth option will like both second and third so be careful bachcho. be careful na? so right answer will be fourth actually right answer will be fourth hmm? I'm getting it Chalo. okay now come over here if I give you a question say 5.6 liter of a gas of a gas at STP at STP uh, has a weight has a weight equal to say 11 gram 11 gram Okay, find, find molecular weight of gas, find molecular weight of gas, come on, come on, 5.6 liter, so 5.6 liter has a weight of 11 gram, boys and girls, can I go to 22.4 liter, I told you, that is the only way to hunt the gas, 22.4 liter will be equal to 22.4 into 11 divided by 5.6 liter divide by this thing this will be 4 and you'll get 11 into 4 44 gram and eh so 44 is the molecular or gram molecular weight of the gas and if they ask you to identify the gas gas may be co2 it may be n2o also eh remember these two gases they have the same molecular weight okay okay now come over here but so you people know what is vapor density what is vapor density vapor density is actually molecular weight of a gas of a gas gas upon two now this thing is everyone knows it, this is two and if i ask you by what is the unit of the vapor density like people know that molecular weight of the gas will be like say in gram and this is the pure number so the unit of vapor density will be gram which is actually wrong and the reason you are getting a wrong answer is that you have got an incomplete idea of vapor density actually vapor density is actually equal to molecular weight of a gas at STP or whatever and this is the molecular weight of hydrogen gas. So vapor density is a ratio of molecular weight of a gas divided by the molecular weight of H2 which is actually equal to 2. So this will be molecular weight of the gas upon molecular weight of H2. Yes or no? This is also molecular weight. So this will cancel out. We will get a pure number. We will get a pure number. It will be unitless. 
it will be actually unitless. Now this molecular weight of H2 is how much? 2. That's why people call it molecular weight of a gas divided by 2. But it does not have any unit because this is a ratio of 2 molecular weights gram upon gram. So gram gram will cancel. Are you getting it? Not only pure number will be remaining. Okay. So let's do some question. For example, uh, vapor density of a gas is equal to uh, I can say maybe say 11. 11. Can you find out? Find out the molecular weight of the gas? Of the gas? Come on. You know that vapor density is equal to molecular weight divided by 2. So molecular weight will be equal to vapor density into 2. How much? 11 into 2 that will be equal to 22. So 22 is the molecular weight of a gas. Clear hai? Itna clear hai? Chalo, let's practice some more questions. Hai na? Uh, chalo, Adav, come over here. So I'm giving you a question. It says that if we take 5.6, 5.6 liter of ammonia, 5.6 liter of ammonia and at STP, you have to find out, find, find number of moles of the ammonia gas. They're also asking weight of ammonia gas. They're also asking number of molecules of ammonia. Hash means for me number of molecules of ammonia. They're also asking number of atoms. Okay now they're also asking number of neutrons, protons and electrons. You have to find all of them. And, uh, practice these questions. I mean your fluency will increase. Your confidence will also increase. Okay. Chalo karo usko. Chalo karo. Everyone do it. Do it. Take, take your time. Take one minute. Take one minute. No, no. Sare answer nikalo ek saath. All of them in one shot. Simple sa jali karo. Be quick. There is nothing in that. Jaldi jaldi haath chalao. Nahi bachche toh aap sawal ko solve kura aap samaj nahi reho bata na. Aap khali bait rete ho. Aap soosthe ki sir kab solve karenge aur kab mein likhunga. Yeh galat hai bachche na. Aap khud solve karo usko. Have an attacking mindset. Aap defensive ho jate ho. Defensive ho jao ge na. Toh har bhoat aage nahi bada pao ge. Aapko na ruthless competition aage bada na hai. Toh aapko attacking strategy rakhni pade ghi. आपको खुद सवाल सॉल्व करने बच्चों वहां मैं थोड़ी होऊंगा यार सॉल्व करने के लिए है ना और आप यह मत सोचो कि यार कि बाकी लोग आंसर दे नहीं दे रहे आप अपना काम संभालो आपका उनसे कोई लेनदेन नहीं है आपका कंपटीशन खुद से है उनसे थोड़ी ना है है ना भाई हो सकता है कि इसका आंसर आ रहा हो क्योंकि इसने पहले प्रैक्टिस कर रखी है है ना इसने पहले कहीं और कोचिंग कर रखी होगी इसने पहले पढ़ रखा होगा है ना इसकी मैथ स्ट्रांग होगी तो इसलिए इसका आंसर आ रहा है आपका आंसर क्यों नहीं आ रहा है क्योंकि आपने पढ़ाई नहीं करी बच्चे हो सकता है आपके बेसिक्स वीक है आपकी मैथ्स वीक हो सकती है कई सारे कारण हो सकते हैं ना बच्चे तो आप इसकी चिंता मत करो उसके आंसर क्यों आ रहे हैं आपका आंसर क्यों नहीं आ रहा आप ये देखो आपके आंसर नहीं आ रहे हैं इसकी वजह क्या हो सकती है कि भाई मैंने नाइन्थ टेंथ इलेवन ट्वेल्थ में पढ़ाई नहीं करी थी भाई मेरा मैथ्स बहुत वीक है अब मैं होमवर्क भी नहीं करता हूं मैं प्रैक्टिस नहीं करता हूं मुझे टेबल्स नहीं आती हैं तो जब आप ये सब चीजों को इवेल्युएट करोगे तो आपको मालूम पड़ेगा कि यार आपके अंदर कुछ प्रॉब्लम्स हैं जिनको जब तक आप सॉल्व नहीं करोगे आप आगे नहीं बढ़ पाओगे उधर उधर देख के आप टाइम वेस्ट कर रहे हो बच्चों कुछ मिलेगा नहीं उससे तो आप खुद को आप खुद को देखो आपका कॉम्पिटिशन खुद से है आप ये देखो बच्चे कि आज आप अगर यहां हो कोई दिक्कत नहीं है एक बच्चे ने यहां से ग्रोथ शुरू करी है यह भी कोई दिक्कत नहीं है वो बच्चा अपने हिसाब से काम करेगा आप अपने हिसाब से काम करो आप तो देखो कि हर दिन आप कुछ ना कुछ सीख रहे हो और ग्रो कर रहे हो आप बस ग्रो करते जाओ आपका सिलेक्शन हुआ नहीं हुआ ये उतना इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन नहीं है बच्चों इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन तो ये है कि आप हर रोज सीख रहे हैं कि नहीं सीख रहे हैं भाई आप ये देखो कि पिछले तीन चार साल के अंदर शायद हमने कुछ सीखा नहीं है हमने कोई अच्छा क्वेश्चन भी नहीं किया है हम केवल रट रहे हैं हम केवल घोट रहे हैं है ना हम समझने की कोशिश भी नहीं कर रहे हैं हम केवल एक सोसाइटी के प्रेशर में आके हमको केवल नंबर चाहिए तो हम नंबरों के पीछे भाग रहे हैं हमें समझ में नहीं आ रहा है तो हमको जब समझ में नहीं आ रहा है तो हमने उसको रटना शुरू कर दिया रट के हमारे नंबर तो आ गए नाइन टेंथ के अंदर नंबर आ गए भाई है ना बट अब इलेवन ट्वेल्थ में उतना स्कोर करना आसान नहीं होता है आपके कॉन्सेप्ट में क्लैरिटी नहीं आती है तो फिर आप क्या करते हो आप सिलेक्टेड टॉपिक्स पढ़ने लगते हो जो आसान लगते हैं है ना आप आप टीचर से बात करते हो दोस्तों से बात करते हो कि भाई कुछ भी आसान से बता दो यार कैसे भी करके आसान सा कर दो उसको हो जाएगा पर हर चीज इतनी तरह की अच्छे से नहीं हो पा रही है तो आपका उतना अच्छा स्कोर नहीं आ रहा है तो आपके धीमे धीमे क्या हो गया कॉन्सेप्ट थोड़े वीक हो गए बच्चे आप कोई दिक्कत नहीं है आप यहां आगे हो आप यहां पर जंग लड़ो बच्चों ये आपकी हल्दी काटी है 
यहां से पीछे नहीं हटना अपने को है ना अब क्या करोगे हर दिन आप कुछ ना कुछ ग्रो करो हर दिन कुछ ना कुछ सीखो आप एक दिन बच्चों बहुत आगे निकल जाओगे अब मैं कह रहा हूं अगर ये काम आपने आने वाले दस साल तक किया तो कोई है जो आपको रोक देगा कोई माइकल आपको रोक नहीं पाएगा बच्चों कोई भी नहीं रोक पाएगा आपको आप सिर्फ ये ग्रो करो आपकी जर्नी उस किसी और की जर्नी से आपका कोई लेन देन ही नहीं है वो कुछ और बनेगा वो कहीं और जाएगा आप कहीं और जाओगे है ना आप इससे पहले जिंदा थे इसके बाद जिंदा रहने वाले हो है ना आप हमेशा जिंदाबाद थे हमेशा जिंदाबाद रहोगे लेकिन आप मेहनत करो बच्चों सही डायरेक्शन मेहनत करो और सीखते रहो ग्रो करो बच्चों ठीक है परेशान नहीं हो खुद करो लड़ो भिड़ो क्या हो जाएगा ज्यादा से ज्यादा सवाल नहीं निकलेगा मैं हूं का के लिए हूं मैं आपकी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करने के लिए हूं यहां पर मैं है ना कर लेंगे सॉल्व गलत करोगे मैं सही कर दूंगा आप ये मत सोचो कि अगला क्या सोचेगा अरे उसकी खुद की बैंड बजी हुई है नंबर देखो किसी के नहीं आ रहे दो चार पांच बच्चों के नंबर आते हैं बाकी लोगों के नंबर नहीं आते तो आपको लगता है कि वो आखी, वो वाकई आपके बारे में सोच रहे होंगे कोई नहीं सोच रहा आपके बारे में बच्चों वो सब अपने बारे में सोच रहे क्योंकि उसकी भी मैथ्स खराब है है ना उसे भी प्रॉब्लम्स हैं उसको बायो में स्कोर नहीं आ रहा है उसका फिजिक्स में स्कोर नहीं आ रहा है कहीं ना कहीं कुछ ना कुछ दिक्कत सबकी लाइफ में लगी हुई है भगवान ने सबको कुछ ना कुछ पूछ पकड़ा रखी है है ना संभालो इस पूछ को अब आप अपनी पूंछ संभालो वो अपना पूंछ संभालेगा ठीक है ना चलो कम आ जाओ तो हम ले ये वाला सवाल करते बच्चों ना ध्यान से करेंगे इसको सो आई हैव टू फाइंड आउट नंबर ऑफ मोल्स दे हैव गिवन द वॉल्यूम एट एस टीपी सो फाइंड आउट नंबर ऑफ मोल्स व्हाट इज दैट गिवन वॉल्यूम 5.6 लीटर अपॉन ट्वेंटी आई टोल्ड यू डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी लीटर ये सुनो कितना रहेगा बाई वन बाई फोर वन बाई फोर मोल्स चलो सेकेंड वेट यू टू फाइंड आउट द वेट If you get number of moles, once you get number of moles, you can travel anywhere. I told you last time, weight will be what? Number of moles into molecular weight. In order to find out weight, you have to multiply. Remember that one by four into molecular weight of ammonia is seventeen. Now seventeen by four is four point two five. So weight will be four point two five gram. Now third one is what? Number of molecules of ammonia. Once you have got, once you have got number of moles. Number of moles one by four. Can I find out number of molecules? What I'll do? I'll multiply. I'll multiply number of moles that is one by four into Avogadro's number. So answer will be Na by four. Yes or no? And number of atoms. Number of atoms is what? It is basically number of molecules of ammonia into its atomicity into its atomicity. And what is atomicity of ammonia, boy? Bolo. Ammonia contains four atoms, है ना? So number of molecules are Na by Four and into atomicity, which is also equal to four. This will be Avogadro number of atoms are there. Now we are left with what? Last part, number of neutrons, protons, and electrons. ठीक है? चलो आ जाओ. Let's see that number of neutrons. So please write down N, H, H, and H. Number of, if I go with the electrons, है ना? First the electrons. Seven electrons in N, one electron in hydrogen, one and one. So total becomes seven plus three ten. So one molecule of ammonia, one molecule of ammonia will have ten electrons, है ना? And if I look at the protons, again seven plus one plus one plus one. Each hydrogen has got one proton each and seven in nitrogen. Total becomes ten neutron. Now sorry, ten protons. Sorry, ten protons. Ten protons. And if I look at number of neutrons, it will be again neutrons seven. In hydrogen, we don't have any neutron. Hydrogen does not contain any neutrons, so it will be only seven neutrons. Remember that. Be careful with the neutrons, है ना? Protons and electrons are okay, but people sometimes, I mean, they they get carried away as far as number of neutrons are concerned. Okay, so don't get carried away. Now I know one thing. One ammonia molecule has got what? Ten electron. How many ammonia molecules we were having? We were having Na by four. Na by four ammonia molecules. Remember that. So in one molecule we have got ten electrons and Na by four I'll have Na by four into ten. So this will be actually ten Na by four number of electrons. Yes or no? These many electrons. And I believe since number of electrons are equal to number of protons, so this will also be equal to what? Ten Na by four number of protons. Yes or no? And shall we calculate now number of neutrons also? I will calculate that. I'll calculate. It's so simple. It's there is nothing out there. Sorry. What is happening? 
why it is not going up okay let's go we'll do in the fresh page like say one ammonia one ammonia molecule has seven neutrons seven neutrons so na by four number of ammonia molecules these many ammonia molecules will have how many neutrons it will be seven na seven na by four number of neutrons are you getting that this is seven seven okay clear hai? ठीक है ना तो बस आराम से करो अगर हो जाएगा कोई दिक्कत नहीं है ना चलो आ जाओ एक क्वेश्चन और करते हैं लाइक इफ आई गिव यू 18 एम ऑफ वाटर 18 एम ऑफ वाटर एट एस टी पी आई एम गिविंग यू ओके एंड आई एम आस्किंग यू फाइंड नंबर ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स नंबर ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स प्रेजेंट इन 18 एम ऑफ वाटर एट एस चलो करो सॉल्व इट सॉल्व करो जल्दी करो बी क्विक बी क्विक भाई क्या कर रहे हो अच्छा हाउ मेनी पीपल आर लाइक कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस पार्ट नंबर ऑफ मोल्स This is say 18 एम एल एंड डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फोर लीटर हाउ मेनी यू आर अप्रोचिंग दिस पाथ नो दिस इज रॉन्ग दिस पाथ इज ओनली फॉर गैसेज दिस पाथ इज ओनली फॉर गैसेज नॉट फॉर लिक्विड वॉटर इज लिक्विड एट एस टी पी है ना एंड दिस पाथ इज नॉट अवेलेबल फॉर लिक्विड फॉर लिक्विड बच्चो अंडरस्टैंड यू हैव टू कम थ्रू वेट ओनली थ्रू वेट ओनली दिस पाथ इज अवेलेबल ओनली फॉर गैस एंड वॉटर liquid water is not a gas so you have to come through weight and divide by molecular weight and then you will approach number of moles from number of moles you will approach number of water molecules and from number of water molecules you will approach the number of neutrons protons and electrons right? so what you will do 18 ml of water but you now see as far as h2o is concerned everyone knows they will not supply this information because this everyone knows what is that density of water is actually 1 gram per ml 1 gram per ml that means what 1 ml of water has got weight of 1 gram how many ml i am having i am having 18 ml of water so 18 ml of water has a weight of 18 gram yes or no 18 ml of water will have weight of 18 grams now they have given me indirectly weight whenever they will give you liquid bachcho they will also supply density but in case of water they will not supply density because this everyone knows hai right? na so you have to infer from that stuff so 18 g of water is given now weight is given to you people hai right? na now weight is given to you people ha abhi ho gaya yaar ye so from weight it is easy to find out number of moles so first find out number of moles of water which will be weight 18 upon molecular weight of water that is also 18 so that means they have given one mole one mole of water is there now from one mole can i find out number of molecules of water it will be how much number of moles 1 into avogadro's number that will be equal to what na so avogadro number of water molecules are there now in every h2o h h and o number of neutrons will be 0 0 and 8 so total becomes 8 neutrons in one water molecule i have got 8 neutrons can i solve it here so one h2o contains 8 neutrons how many water molecules i am having avogadro number so avogadro number of h2o will have 8 na 8 na number of neutrons be careful bachcho be very careful with that stuff okay clear hua ठीक है आराम से करो कोई दिक्कत नहीं है चलो एक क्वेश्चन और कर लेते हैं इफ बेस्ड ऑन वाटर कैन आई गिव इट टू यू लेट मी गिव इट टू यू चलो आना कम सी आई एम गिविंग यू वन एम ऑफ वाटर वन एम ऑफ वाटर कंटेन्स कंटेन्स ट्वेंटी ड्रॉप्स ट्वेंटी ड्रॉप्स फाइंड number of molecules number of molecules of water in one drop in one drop aaram se karo 1 ml of water contains 20 drops you have to find number of molecules of water in one drop chalo karo 
करो भैया चल निकलो अब तो मेरी शादी में आयो क्या इधर बैठो सवाल करो सवाल नहीं करते तुम लोग यार अरे पेन उठा पेपर उठा और जंग लड़ क्या बैठा हुआ है तू चल <laughs> अबे अपनी शक्ल देखो तुम लोग कैसे बैठे हो क्या तो तुम जंग लड़ोगे बच्चों कम एयर चलो मैं करता हूं तुम ट्राई किया करो ट्राई करो उसको हाउ मेनी पिल गोट द आंसर हाउ मेनी ये लोग सिर्फ पेन चला रहे हैं अबे कुछ करो उस पर लिखो कितना शो ऑफ करते तुम लोग यार करो करो जो समझ में आ रहा है वो लिखो उसको यूल फाइंड अ वे यूल फाइंड अ वे चलो देर इज ऑलवेज अ वे If there is a bill, hundred no, it is one ml, one ml of water. So, देखो बच्चों, I know one thing. Density of water is actually one gram per ml. I just told you, which means one ml will have a weight of one gram. Agree? Now, how much I am having? I am having one ml. One ml has got one gram weight, which is having what? Twenty drops. Agree or not? So they are asking number of molecules in one drop. in one drop so one drop one drop will have how much weight will have 1 upon 20 g yes or no it will have 1 upon 20 g so now i have got the weight of water whenever they give you liquid but you try to get the weight and you know? i don't come from the way of 22.4 that is for gas only so the final weight of one drop is what 1 by 20 g so from here onwards i can proceed now so number of moles of water Molecule in one drop, in one drop, will be weight one by twenty divided by molecular weight. That is what eighteen. So these are the number of moles. Chalo, tell me, bachcho, who will find out number of molecules of water? To find number of molecules of water, I got number of moles into what? Avogadro's number, है ना? Once you get number of moles, you have to move forward, multiply outside. Number of moles one by twenty. Into 18 and this will be how much? Into 6 into 10 to power of 23. This will be three times. And can I write down? But this says 100 into 10 to power of 21 divided by 20 into 3. This will be five times. Five by three is 1.66 into 10 to power of 21. So these many water molecules are there. in one drop of water simple whenever they give you weight weight is the least important thing in the world of physical chemistry immediately convert immediately convert weight into what number of moles once you have number of moles you can travel anywhere anywhere you can travel okay chalo ek question aur karte hain let's do one more question and this question says that suppose we are having uh, 220 mg sample 220 mg sample of co2 is there and if we take out if we take out if we take out 6 into 10 to power of 20 co2 molecules hai na take out 6 into inverse 20 co2 molecules find number of moles of co2 remaining find number of moles of co2 remaining how you will handle this question come on it's a good question it's a really good question how you will handle that they have given weight and be careful this milligram it not even gram so convert that into first gram and now they are giving number of molecules and they are asking number of moles so they have given three different things i told you what that whenever they give you anything convert that into number of moles they want number of moles so they are giving a hint how to solve it convert all of them into number of moles so can i say that chalo initial or ni number of moles initial of co2 will be how much weight 220 mg converted into gram minus of 3 grams this is the weight divided by molecular weight how much 44 this will be 5 equal to 5 into 10 to power of minus 3 moles these many moles are present initially okay now number of moles of co2 taken out taken out they have given number of molecules so to convert number of molecules into number of moles divide number of molecules by avogadro's number 10 to power of 23 cancels up and this will be 10 to power of 3 this will be 1 into 10 to power of minus 3 so these many molecules are taken out from this one of sample so 
कैन आई से दैट कैन आई से नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सीओ टू रिमेनिंग नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सीओ टू रिमेनिंग विल बी वॉट रिमेनिंग विल बी इनिशियल नंबर ऑफ मोल्स हाउ मच फाइव इन टू टेन टू पावर ऑफ माइनस थ्री माइनस थ्री सब्ट्रैक्ट द टेकन आउट माइनस ऑफ वन इंटू टेन टू पावर ऑफ माइनस थ्री दिस विल बी गुड टू फोर इंटू टेन टू पावर ऑफ माइनस थ्री दीज मेनी मोल्स विल बी रिमेनिंग ओके दीज मेनी मोल्स आर रिमेनिंग एंड बच्चो इफ दे आस्क यू इफ दे आस्क यू लेट मी ट्राई टू कन्वर्ट दैट इफ इट इज पॉसिबल ओके आई डू इट हेर ना इफ दे आस्क यू नाउ दैट वॉल्यूम ऑफ द सीओ टू रिमेनिंग एट एस टीपी वंस यू गेट नंबर ऑफ मोल्स वॉल्यूम ऑफ सीओ टू रिमेनिंग कम ऑन रिमेनिंग विल बी हाउ मच नंबर ऑफ मोल्स फोर इंटू टेन टू पावर ऑफ माइनस थ्री इंटू ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फोर दैट विल बी एटी नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन टू पावर ऑफ माइनस थ्री लीटर ये सो नो अच्छा इफ दे आस्क यू द वेट वेट ऑफ सीओ टू रिमेनिंग कम ऑन रिमेनिंग वंस यू गेट द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स यू कैन डू इट How much weight will be number of moles? Four into ten to power of minus three into molecular weight. Go outside, multiply by molecular weight. That is forty-four equal to one seventy-six into ten to power of minus three gram. Yes or no? Which can be one point seven six into ten to power of minus one gram. Yes or no? That kind of thing. So you can convert anything into anything. Now these questions are very much required for the sake of practice, है ना? The practice is very important. So keep on doing practice. Without practice, we are not going anywhere, है ना? Do this, and in the next lecture, we'll be doing further more questions to make sure that clarity is coming, है ना? But I mean that will be only possible when you do the practice of these questions, है ना? And you will do the DPP sheet. Everyone has to do a DPP sheet, है ना? अगले लेक्चर में मैं पूछूंगा तुम लोगों से अच्छे से करके आना आप लोग सब लोग सब ठीक है श्योर चलो ठीक है बच्चों बाय टेक केयर बाय बाय थैंक यू ऑल थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू